The Daily Telegraph reporting today that Stirling University had dropped Austin from an English literature syllabus. She would be replaced by a black American author. The paper said the move had its roots in the institution's desire to decolonize the curriculum. I have to say, having looked again at that story, I think it's probably slightly overwritten. Uh, but it does raise some important questions about how we venerate or otherwise some of our important, nay, even towering literary figures. Here's one, uh, the historian and GB News presenter, Neil Oliver. Neil, welcome to you. Um, I, I think it's fair to say we, we both had some misgivings about the, the way that story was written up. And actually, uh, there was definitely a strong kernel of truth to it, this idea that uh, Austin was part of a rotating module of a syllabus. She was ousted. Toni Morrison was brought in. OK, you could put that down to a, a matter of evolving literary tastes. But it's undeniably true, isn't it? We've seen it time and time again. There appears to be a desire to repudiate parts of our literary history and import other people's. Yes, indeed. Uh, I think it, it seems to me this uh, is all... A part of a of a bigger picture in which everything about uh, being British, British culture, British heritage, uh, our history, the history of empire, it's all increasingly being portrayed always and only as a negative, always and only as a bad thing, uh, and it reaches its tentacles uh, into. You know, the, into academia, uh, where decisions are being made about which, uh, in this case, in an English literature course at Stirling University, which authors will be studied and which won't. I mean, as you rightly said, I, I, as I understand it, this particular course is one that has that annually rotates the authors, and so one being out this year and and another one being in next year, I think is is par for the course. And and obviously, I mean, someone like Tony Morrison, who who is in while Austin is out. You know, I mean, Tony Morrison won the uh, you know, she won the the Pulitzer in in the late eighties, and then she won the Nobel Prize for Literature. I don't think anybody's impugning or, or su suggesting that she's she's not absolutely an author worthy of consideration. But but yes, I I, I think um, this whole idea of decolonizing uh, curriculums, if that's not the stupidest idea that academia has ever had, I would say it's definitely in the top one.